hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i created this um, flyer in photoshop of course a few steps okay the first thing i did was to go over to file click on new and um of course five by five 300 and rgb right as we've done in previous videos so the first thing i did was to um solid color and click ok like this right so the next thing i did was to go over to this website iclipart.com then i searched for a city like this so i had this one then i clicked on download and um, of course it's very very easy it's a reliable website i use it often for my designs and all of that so click on download and um, there you go so it's downloading already so i'm just going to open it up and of course drag and drop like this okay so i'm going to zoom out make it bigger like this and reduce the opacity just like this great okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my resource file of course like the previous video the link is in the description of this video so you can do well and click on the link to download this resource file so i'll click on the mask and i'm just going to um, reduce my flow and i'm just going to with my brush selected i'm just going to rub off this part here like this right this way and i'm going to move this here in place while i make this bigger ctrl t to activate the transform the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my rectangle to all right select the rectangle and i'm just going to draw a rectangle here but of course i want rounded corners so i'm just going to go to this point and bring it inside to create rounded corners right so I'm going to change the color by double clicking on the thumbnail and I'm going to use this color like this. Just going to move this upwards. Oh, okay, so I want to reveal this area. So I'm going to revert my mask while I paint back these areas for it to be revealed, right? So I need these areas to show. Good. So I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this um, green. Hold down shift, no, hold down shift while you're reducing to have this kind of shape, right? So hold down shift when you're doing this. So I'm just going to double click and give it a color. I think this is nice, this is okay. Alright, so I'm just going to move this in place. And the next thing I would like to do is. Uh, let me use a darker shade of that color okay good so i'll just use this the next thing i'll do is i'll bring in my text and i'm just going to speed this up a bit while i use my text to write out some of the information i'm going to be using okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to search for whatsapp barcode yeah png make sure you're searching for png i'm going to click on all images and i'm going to use this i'm just using this for um this particular video so if you want to develop your own barcode there's a way you can actually do this right so i'm just doing this 
for this in case you have your barcode and you want to use it so there's actually a way to develop your whatsapp barcode right so i'm just going to download this one off the internet right for the sake of this tutorial or for this video so i'm going to save it and um, bring it inside of photoshop i'm going to make it smaller and um, i'm going to place it here i'm going to make it bigger like this just at the right place okay so having done that the next thing i want to do is to look for the whatsapp logo right so i'm just going to search whatsapp logo png and of course it's going to bring out a series of options for you so you can level your options and choose the one that you have that's most appropriate for you but i'm going to select this transparent whatsapp logo png and i'm going to click on this first one i'm going to click on it it takes me to the website and all i'm going to do here is what download right so you can see how google can be very 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 helpful at times so i'm just going to drag this and um, put it in place here like this still going to make this smaller mm, yes and i'm going to place this here great okay i'm gonna click enter and i'm just going to um, add my text to this for my phone number okay so i'm just going to make this bigger and move this in place so um it's more visible in the design and after that i'm just going to go over to my resource file i'm going to select this and drag it in as you can see it's too big so i'm going to make this small and put it somewhere here 
I'm gonna have a couple of this so I'm just gonna start with this one first and duplicate this put this here let's see okay, let me flip this and bring this here but it needs to be up so I'll just drag it all the way up to the top layer and let it rest there so for this I'm going to filter let me position this well go to filter and go to blur and we're going to be using motion blur so you just use my settings and my angle distance and angle 27 minus 6 and there you go for the other one I'm going to apply Gaussian blur to it not motion blur right use my settings also I think I want to have one last one for this i'm just going to bring this one here but for this one um let's see let's see i'm going to make this bigger um bigger but make sure it doesn't cover the phone number you have there so i'm going to filter blow gaussian blow and um, i'm just going to increase this make sure it's not too much i think somewhere around here is fine it's good like this So what I'm going to do is just I'm just gonna make slight adjustments, selecting the affordable this yellow rectangle and the text so that I can move them up a bit because I have space on top, just like this using your arrow key. Um, this is a mistake. I'm just get, get rid of this like this. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is create a realistic shadow for the image. So I'm just going to go one layer beneath the image and create a new layer. I'm going to swap my background color to black. And using my brush, my flow is set to 24. I'm going to do that again. So gently just rub in like this. Apply the shadow. It doesn't need to be too much. Good, just like this. Okay, guys, um, this brings me to the end of this design session. If you've liked this video, if you like my process, please kindly hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the, sus the post notification so you get notified anytime I drop a video via YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.